Well, that is the most recent case of animal cruelty in our area. Law enforcement says it's far from uncommon. KMR Local Force Crystal Martinez has details. She joins us now live in the studio. Crystal? Andy, I went to the Amarillo SPCA to find out how many cruelty cases they receive and how common they are. The Amarillo SPCA usually takes in strays and pets who have been surrendered by their owners, but there are cases that they get where animals have been rescued from abusive situations. Deborah Hall, the facility manager of the SPCA, says that animal cruelty cases happen more often than people think. It's, it goes on all the time. It, it happens all the time. We see it quite often. We see, you know, here in the, uh, I hate to say it, but Amarillo has not a, a, a good instance of people taking care of their pets the way they should. Hall says she has taken in dogs from hoarding situations and is even receiving two dogs from animal welfare in management who were found neglected and abandoned. Now, these two dogs have not been confirmed to be the same dogs found in a Randall County home. Hall also says that they have had several cases where they have found dogs that have been thrown into their gates and even puppies and kittens left inside boxes on their doorsteps. She asked that if you suspect animal cruelty to call the police. Live in studio, Crystal Martinez, KAMR Local 4 News. Andy. Crystal, thank you. Corporal Hilton says animal cruelty and abuse cases can range from a Class C misdemeanor and in certain cases can be charged with a felony.